sleep is all kind of wonky right now. This playlist right now, kind of like an orangey brown. Here's where I'm getting my little smoothie. Morning snacks. We are out the door. Got home from Hawaii and got a package in. Figured we'd do a little reset, get back into my routine and whatnot. And just got some stuff in from Rick Lemon, which I am so excited. I got the Heathered Cashmere set this time, which I've never done. I've used Rick Lemon a million times. We've had, I don't even know how many sets of sheets that we've had um, in rotation for both of our beds, but look at. Heathered cashmere for this set, babe. This one is 95% cotton and 5% cashmere. Thank you so much, Rick Lennon, for sponsoring today's YouTube video. Look at, what do we think? Oh, wow. Feel how comfy. I like that. Cozy. Oh, wow. These are so nice. So I normally do the Luxe Sateen bundle, but this time we switch it up. And then also got some pillowcases. Okay, so I did the cashmere corset in cream, and then I also did a duvet cover in cream. Ooh, I'm excited to see what these look like. I also just ordered a duvet insert from Brooklyn in as well. So that should be here. I think that should be here tomorrow. So I might even wait to put these on until those get here. I literally just got picked up from the airport and Jay had a Ninja Creamy waiting on me. An angel sent from heaven above. I just said that I was gonna wait until my duvet insert came. It was under the boxes out there. I was just gonna open up PR and I realized that this was already here. I'm so excited. So this is one of those lightweight ones. Oh, I probably shouldn't do this, huh? Why? It slips out of my hand a little bit. Yeah, it's buried. I don't like that one. I know, it but... scares me a little. So Gretchen told me that um, she got this duvet insert and she's like, you absolutely need it. Bliss in a box. Oh, hey, yeah. I'm so excited. Okay, lightweight down comforter. Woo, thanks for opening that. Oh my gosh, why am I so excited about this? I'm so excited. Here's our current situation with our bedroom set, which I love, but it's nice to have a couple sets of sheets and also a comforter. We always do like the stark white, and I think that for the summer, I loved that. These are all from Brooklyn and as well, the sheets, the duvet cover and pillowcases and whatnot. And also I use Marlo pillows. That's also what Gretchen was telling me to do. And I was like, girl, I'm way ahead of you. Those are like the best flipping pillows ever. We have two of the Marlo pillows, but the new set that I got, it's gonna match more of this. And I think it's gonna be a little bit more of like a fall winter type look for our bedroom. And I think that's gonna look really good as well because we have our drapes getting installed soon and that's gonna be a little bit more of that color too. Good morning guys. I think that I caught up on my sleep. 10 hours and 53 minutes of sleep, y'all. 11 hours and 34 minutes in bed. That's after sleeping pretty much all afternoon too. So that's why we have not talked since I showed you uh, the sheets and everything coming in. Is that not insane? I literally woke up kind of for like two seconds at eight o'clock, but I slept all night. <laughs> Actually insane, but I do feel so much better and I wish I could even explain to you guys how happy I am that I decided on doing this cashmere set and Jay was like, I love this color. We always do like the very stark white. So I think that this is a lot more of like a fall look and I haven't even put on the pillows, like the throw pillows, because I wanted to show you guys. It's so cozy. Okay, here's what it looks like with everything on. Got the throw blanket and also the pillows. 
I'm obsessed with Brooke Linen. I know you guys know that already. I use their towels and their sheets, but now I have a duvet insert as well, and I'm so excited. We are always talking about how we like it to be like a lot cooler at night with a duvet, and sometimes like having a comforter on is very hot because we live in Florida. So got one that was a little bit lighter of weight so that we wouldn't get hot at night, and I just can't get over this. Like I cannot get over how comfy this is because I normally do the Lux Satin, and this time I did the cashmere one. So fall, winter vibe in here. We actually are doing another guest room and that is, I just made myself comfy right here to chat with y'all, but we're actually doing two guest rooms rather than two offices. Right now we have two offices and one guest room and I was looking for the bedding that we wanted to do in there and that's what made me decide, wait, okay, this would actually look really good in our primary bedroom. So got this and it is like the comfiest cashmere set but it's also like not overly hot. Sometimes you have to like choose one or the other. Like if you're gonna do like a winter set of sheets and bedding and then you end up sweating at night. <laughs> they really do get comfier with each wash. I've noticed that and I have kept all of my other sets from Brooklyn and, and we just kind of rotate through them. But they really do get cozier and softer the more that you use them. Right now, Brooklinen is having their largest sale and it's 20% off for Black Friday through November 29th. And I also did the hardcore bundle. So I bundled it to get an extra pillowcase set and then have the sheets, also the duvet cover, which gives you an extra discount on top of the Black Friday sale. So if you are wanting to get this for some gifts for the holidays or you just want to do a little revamp of your room like I did, I'll link everything below. I will shout from the rooftop how much I love Brooklinen. I kind of was the one that jumped on the train. My mom had their towels and I was like, okay, what do we got here? This is, gosh, I don't even know, five years ago or so. And I will never look back. That's what we use even in all of our guest rooms because there's just something about having like super plush, cozy towels, having nice sheets. It makes a difference. It really does. And now having their duvet insert as well. It's only been one night, so I'll keep you guys updated on that. But the first night we realized, wow, I am obsessed with this. So they do no wrong. They really don't. I'll link everything in my description box. Thank you so much for Glennon for sponsoring today's YouTube video. Okay, I've been playing a little catch up today, so haven't chatted much I that's part of being out of town right you come back and life is life is full speed ahead so I have been doing lots of client check-ins lots of emails and also just some different things for different brands I just ran and got my hair like color swatch I think I was in there for three minutes with Jordan my hairstylist because um, we're gonna order new hair if you have hair extensions um i have gone back and forth with hair extensions for however long but you if you take them in and out it gives you a little bit longer of life in them but like every once in a while you need to get some new hair in and i'm going to do a little bit darker this time just to have some low lights in my hair so that i don't have to put as much bleach on my hair my hair is like this color up here like a very dirty blonde i guess light brown type look so went in there for that and i'm gonna grab a smoothie and then head home all right, here's where I'm getting my little smoothie. Got these little peanut butter energy bites. All right, I'm headed home now. I got a smoothie from Kill Me Crazy. I think it's like the peanut butter, cinnamon, protein powder, almond milk one, and I've gotten it like the last three times. So good. Can't say I'm obsessed with these. They're fine. They just kind of taste like I'm having like a bite of peanut butter rather than really anything else, but I'm hungry. My sleep is so messed up. It's 4.45 right now. I've been up doing laundry. I kid you not, like this little time change of six hours, you would think that I'd be sleeping in later, but actually it's because when I first got home, so I had the red eye, I came home, I slept pretty much the entire afternoon, and then I still slept for 10 hours, and, or it was like almost 11 hours, I think my aura said, so. I just think that my sleep is all kind of wonky right now. I slept like four hours last night because I woke up like wide awake at 3 a.m. So I kind of laid there for a while then finally got up at 4, started doing stuff around the house. I'm thinking that it will probably just take a couple days to adjust. <laughs> Hopefully this does not hit me midday today because we kind of have a busy day today. But we're just back. We're back into the routine. Feels good to wake up and have my greens this morning. I regret not bringing them to Hawaii. That was one thing that I did forget. I meant to bring a couple of my supplements, but it just feels good to get back into a normal morning of waking up and I'm about to go get a walk-in after I do a couple emails and just plan my day out some. 
I am probably gonna get my nails done like midday today. I have engagement photos, so Jay and I have to be ready probably around two-ish to head to get those done. And this one's gonna be like a little bit dressier of a photo shoot for our engagement photos. We did like a beachy one and then we're gonna do a little bit of a dressier one. So I am really excited. This is actually Jen who did my original photos for my website years back when I first started doing any kind of like online coaching. She actually is like a huge part of why I started doing social media in the first place because when I was like pretty much just like a local personal trainer and a lot of like word of mouth had gotten my name out there um, in Tuscaloosa, she was like, you need to start reaching out to different companies or different like businesses in Tuscaloosa to like see how you can like trade off and I had already done that with like a tropical smoothie in Tuscaloosa I'm kind of going off on a tangent but she told me to reach out to like this little meal prep company and kind of showed me what it would be like to work with brands I guess and she's who did my website originally she who's who did my photos in the beginning so it's kind of a full circle moment that she's coming to tampa literally just for this she's doing our engagement photos and then tomorrow she's doing the liaison event we have the live event um for it's i have a line coming out with liaison and we're doing a like tampa orlando it's actually in lakeland area here but we're doing a live workout and it's like a little meet and greet not meet and greet but like mingle with everyone meet people in the area and jen's gonna do the photography for that too so she's in town we've got just full speed ahead for this weekend and i am just happy to be back but we are not slowing down y'all we are not slowing down this weekend hopefully like sunday i know actually i don't think sunday is going to be that slow either because jay has a half marathon we have a busy weekend we have a busy weekend ahead <laughs> All right, here's my little morning snack, some blueberries, peanut butter, almond butter, and banana, honey, and some cinnamon on my little rice cakes. my day out a little bit on my notion i have i guess this is just kind of like a little run through uh pretty much everything by every half hour i am doing check-ins right now what time is it right now it's 5 45 so doing check-ins until probably about 6 30 and i'm gonna do an upper body workout i might even walk on the treadmill before that to warm up some and then i need to do some laundry i have some serious laundry to catch up on here is what I folded so far that I'll need to put away, but all of my laundry from Hawaii and just playing catch up on that. And then I have a call with liaison at, are we focusing? Focus. I have a call with liaison at nine o'clock and then I'm going to get my nails done. I mean, I literally put everything on here and then I have more client check-ins I'm going to work on. I even have lately been trying to plan out like when I'm going to do my certain like TikToks because I've kind of been, I don't know, like trying to get back on to consistent TikToks. I have not been really doing like many of my mornings and get ready with me and stuff. And then we have our engagement photos. Today's Friday, so maybe we'll even go on a date tonight. I'm not sure 
we are in desperate need of a date because I've been gone for so long. I over here have things I need to do, like I need to finish up my live workout playlist. I wanna make a video about a Ramoa dupe, which is a suitcase, and then I need to finish our guest list for our wedding. We have like pretty much all of the different um, addresses for everyone. We just need to put it into a spreadsheet for our wedding planner, and then some stuff I need for my accountant, and then make some returns. So it really helps me have all of this um, planned out and whatnot. I would like to have Jay spray tan me as well. Maybe we can put that in there like at this time, maybe right here, spray tan. Cause I would like to have a fresh spray tan for the photos. Probably should have done that last night. And then over here I have all of my little habit tracker and I'm not really on my game with tracking these, but I need to get back on this because especially water intake kind of has sucked lately. I haven't really been tracking macros that much. I will track like once or twice a week just to see where my protein's falling. Um, so maybe I'll even get back to that just to make sure I'm eating enough and then get enough sleep. Clearly that's kind of janky right now, but that's one of my priorities. Get a workout in, vitamins, you know? And then over here is if Jay can help me like with anything, he always will help me with like random little things. So I'll do like a little checklist right here on things. If I need help with anything, spray tan, I put tonight cause that was for yesterday. Um, and he helps me with like my little errands and whatnot cause he's the best. What's up, vlog? I know it's been a while since I've seen or talked to you guys. And I gotta say, I've missed you guys so much. Where you been? I truly have. So what happened is my lovely fiance decided to leave me for a very long nine days. <laughs> so that is the reasoning of the distance between us. But hey, we're back. And better than ever. And better than ever. Love you guys. Excited to, you know, catch you guys on this vlog. Okay, nails are done. I went with brown. I'm not necessarily sure if I'm obsessed with this color brown. I think it's fine, but I think I probably should have gone for like a little bit deeper of a brown. It's kind of like an orangey brown. <laughs> Actually, it's very similar to the seats in my car. I'm jamming music right now, finalizing my playlist for the live event tomorrow and I just am obsessed with this playlist right now. I have it on Spotify, so if you do follow my Spotify, it's under live event workout, and I need to start doing more playlists like this because I'm having such a blast putting playlists together. I used to love doing this when I was um, doing spin classes, when I was teaching spin. One of my favorite parts was putting together playlists, and I would do like theme playlists, and just loved like, trying to match the exercise to the beat of the song and also just like the energy behind like the cool down i love having like good vibey songs for a cool down like thinking about love by wild rivers is a cool down song mm. i just love it so i'm so excited for that um, and I am about to do a little slicked back bun right now for my pictures. And the last round of pictures that we did, I wore my hair down and I was thinking that I really wanted to bring my hair up for this one. So I'm going to try and do my best slicked back bun. It's always when you try and do a really solid bun that it's the hardest to make it look good. So this might be interesting, but we're gonna go for it. Um, I think that I'm gonna use my day hair, it's like hair gel type stuff. And that seems to help a lot to get, like make sure that you get out all of the little kinks and whatnot. Where did I put that? Right here. Also, I didn't even know that this was a Cal Pack dupe. I saw, I think it was Rachel and Wraith post the Cal Pack one. And I was like, my Amazon one is actually identical to this. So um, that's what this is like an inspired little cosmetic bag for um, the Cal Pack version of this. 
I've never had anything from that brand before, so I did not know that, but it is like the best. I have my makeup on one side and then like a lot of my skincare, hair care stuff on the other. Okay, I'm gonna do my hair, play some music, and I will see y'all soon. And then I gotta do my makeup. Okay, here's one of the outfits that I'm gonna wear. This one I was kind of back and forth about because it's a little out there, but we have already done some of our other pictures. So I kind of want to do one that's a little bit more of a fun outfit. And then I have a simple white one as well. Uh, I'm going to do my makeup and then I'm going to bring those with me. I think I need to steam my other dress. This one I don't need to. Uh, and then I just have my little clear heels with this dress. Then I also am going to bring a dinner outfit because we're going to go to dinner afterwards. All right, here is the dress I'm going to start in. I have different shoes on right now because I'm going to switch into my heels once we get there. But we are off. I just finished my makeup. I always feel so good with my hair in a slicked back bun. And I knew I would. And it actually turned out pretty dang good. I'm going to kind of slick back underneath a little bit more. And then we are out the door. Jen and Mark, and we went to the Pearl, which is such a shocker, I know. That's where we always go. We if it ain't broke, honestly. We're horrible about trying new restaurants, but Jay like sent one over and he's like, what do you think about this place? And I responded, I think we'll just stick to our, stick to our usual. Uh, I am so excited to see those photos. Jay and I are like, these look like they're gonna be so good off of like their camera. And they were doing both photos and videos and I just think it's gonna be so exciting to get these back but I think I'm gonna end off this vlog and tomorrow is a live event with liaison and then Jay has his half marathon on Sunday so lots going on this weekend and I will definitely be vlogging for the next couple days in a new vlog so I will end this one off I love y'all I adore y'all and I will see you guys in my next one also, I'm still kind of a zombie from all of the time change, also traveling, jet lag, whatever it might be. Um, so hopefully tomorrow, hopefully we get a good night's sleep. It's like seven o'clock right now and I'm ready for bed. Tired. I'm exhausted, but I love y'all and I'll see y'all next time.